So hello, I'm Chris. I, I'm working for QuantLab, and I will be talking about state machine language. So it's not a Boost library yet, but maybe in the future. So uh, is everyone familiar with UML, state machine diagram? So if you're not, you probably should use it because it's awesome and it's very useful. So here we have, for example, connection, a state diagram. So you start from the disconnected, you have an event connect, you, you have an action established, and you do and you go for the connecting. After that, you have established, connected, you can add ping when it's valid, you reset timeout. A simple, you know, simple simulation of, of the connection. So when we look at that, <coughs> we can look at it a bit different way. Uh, so on the left side, we have the same uh, a diagram, which by the way is generated by the boost SML. Uh, but you can also think it like on the right side, when you see all the uh, uh, transitions, which are represented by source state, event, guard, action, destination state, what you can see on the bottom. So on the right side, you will see all the, uh, uh, all the connections between uh, the, the b between the states. And it's the left diagram and the right diagram is exactly the same. So uh, so it means that we can easily represent, represent state machines in C++ because the right side is more like a C++. So how that would look in a boost SML? So uh, let's look at it. So it's based on lambdas, and that's basically it, and a bit of uh, template magic, so everything's at compile time. So. On the top, we have the guards. So for example, it's valid. We, have, we get an event. We can easily verify whether the event is valid. We can also inject anything we want to, to, to the Lambda. It will be dependency injected for us. I don't have examples here, but if we put an data after like second parameter or first parameter, it doesn't really matter. It will be injected for us. So we don't have to really care about it. Uh, what about actions? Actions are Lambdas, which do not return. Uh, because guard has to return a bool. Uh, actions just don't. We can also put more parameters if you want. Uh, here is a simple example, so we just print uh, stuff. And what is an event? Event is just a struct, a type, or even you can generate it in fly. So what about uh, the bottom part? Uh, here we use C++ template the class that action for the constructor, because it will be a, a type which takes the lambda uh, but we, we don't have to use it, uh, uh, we don't have to specify in C17. So when you have a connection, you can see it's pretty much the same as the diagram on the right side on the previous slide. We have disconnected, the star means that we are in the idle uh, state, the first initial state. And when we have connect, which is an, act, uh, which is a, an ev event, we have action established and go to connecting and so forth and, and like that. And the, the main interface is the process event. So we just process event by, uh, by passing a, an event into it. So it's like boost SM, uh, MSM. So what about performance? Uh, so uh, as you see, the performance is quite good if it comes to, uh, uh, to handling the events. Uh, so here's an example with the state machine, which I just shown. Uh, it just implemented in C++14. Uh, and uh, if you process, it's inlined, as you see on the right side. So the main on its own is just doing uh, like printing, establish, re reset time, and close. Uh, so there is basically no overhead. Uh, but uh, let's look at comparison between different approaches. So uh, I implemented a different benchmark, which is like more complex, has like 50 states, hundreds of transitions, and, and it's much more difficult, and I implemented it in like enum, switch, var variant, boost SML, boost MSM, and boost state chart. And if it comes to compilation time, obviously switch is the fastest, but boost SML is not much slower, and we can make it faster as well. Uh, MSM, EUML, maybe, maybe not uh, the fastest, I would say. Uh, could be better. If it comes to execution time, you can also notice that SML is a bit faster than the switch because there's no bound check in there, uh, like switch, which is guaranteed by the standard. And maybe the most important part of it is the fact that the lines of code you have to write, if it comes to SML, 50 lines. If it comes to another solution, it's much more. So what we have with it as well, it's one header. So you can just grab it and use it immediately. There is no dependence on boost or STL. And uh, implementation is just based uh, at compile time on, on dispatch table. So mm, 
Yeah, there's no exceptions, no virtuals, no anything like that. And it works with C14. Okay, thank you. <laughs>